We went to Whataburger like all the freaking time. We went three times in one day. We really were just craving Whataburger one day and was like, hey, where's the nearest Whataburger? So we're driving five hours to go get Whataburger. <laughs> My mom was crying. Why? No, she was laughing so oh. hard. <laughs> like you guys were driving to Arkansas to get a burger. And I was like, no, I don't even like the burgers. I'm getting chicken. <laughs> For real. It's like salt and vinegar chips. Mood. I, I ate the whole bag. Victoria, why do you eat my chips? Because you bought them for me. I love how you're literally matching the restaurant. You're orange. <laughs> The worker was so nice, like literally. <laughs> we went up to the counter and we had, like ordered, and then he's like, "Oh, I really like your camera. Do you vlog?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And I was like, "We actually drove like five hours just to get one burger." And he's like, "Oh, if you would have told me that, I would have given you the meal for free." And we're like, "Oh my gosh!" I went and got cinnamon rolls, and he gave them to me for free. So yeah, we were trying to leave, and he was like so excited to say goodbye. I know, like, so cute. <laughs> he was like waiting anxiously. Like, kind of like waiting, like and not we, like made eye contact almost, but not really. And then he and then saw he we like, were leaving, and he's like, <laughs> Yeah, like he almost like went up and was like, Bye, but he's like, Wait, so you're not like, We had to be like really excited when we said bye. I was like, Bye, yes, <laughs> we were like, Thank you, you're the best. We are subtly filming this truck with its all bedazzled Christmas lights. We love it, <laughs> we love Arkansas. <laughs> How does it work? How does it work? <laughs> Okay, we're gonna play a game. I stole this from Pretty Basic. <laughs> <laughs> the coffee's kicking in. So basically, the game is you have to try to describe your best friend type of guy that they're into. Like looks, personality, what you're looking for in a relationship, and then you have to like compare it to what they actually say they <laughs> You go first like you're describing me. I feel like this is really easy. <laughs> you love white guys. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding so much. You like them tall, dark, and handsome. Tall, dark, <laughs> you like You like darker features. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Point for me. <laughs> you like uh, blonde surfer boys. Like shaggy hair, like. This is so difficult because like your crush over the summer was like blonde, blue eyes, tall, yeah, tan, yeah, what you just described. Mm -hmm. And then your ex is like completely different, like very dark hair. <coughs> There's a reason he's my ex. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna guess um, tan, tall, muscular, blue eyes for sure. Am I right? Mm-hmm. And also like, like bleach blonde hair, but not shaggy. Next question. So next is describing more like personality side of things. Mm -hmm. I feel like, like you already have boundaries, but like knows his own boundaries. You know what I'm saying? Like Christian. Obviously, yeah. And yeah. like, is like really respectful. Just treats you right, like the queen you are. You're pretty much right. You, for personality, I feel like he has to be interested in the same things as you. Like first of all, he obviously has to be Christian. He obviously like has to respect you, but like he also has to like support your life decisions, I feel like. You're more like independent and I'm so. Strong woman but I really want a man. You could do either like date a gymnastics coach because like <laughs> both of you are interested in gymnastics or like somebody who's really passionate like as passionate as crime stuff like as you. I feel like he has to be as dorky as you too. Friend boy hated my puns. 
Yeah, he has to like your puns. <laughs> My puns are so bad. Okay, so kind of yes, but kind of no. Like yes, like respectful and everything. But also I kind of want to date a bad boy right now. Oh, okay. Like, okay, but like define bad boy. I don't know. I just like friend boy. <laughs> Was like entirely too nice. Okay, so like way too nice, but like you, you want somebody who's like not serious all the time. I mean like yes, like kind, but like. I'm like sarcastic and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so they need to be like more sarcastic. And I feel like he didn't get like half of my jokes. Well, like, that's why I said you need somebody who's like as goofy as you. And also, this is gonna sound like kind of mean, but like I want someone who's smarter than me. Like I don't, I don't know, I don't because, know how to explain it. You don't want to yeah. feel like you have to be their mom. I want to respect them, and I can't respect someone who I think is dumber than me. So not necessarily like smarter than me is gonna be like show off about it, mm -hmm. but they have to be like at least like. Common sense is the main thing. Like, I don't care if you know, like, college algebra. <laughs> if you have common sense, I consider you smart. And then I think the last thing was, like, interest, kind of. I feel like you want someone who's, like, kind of fit and will, like, work out with you and stuff. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily, like, weird Instagram gym couples. But, but, like, also, I feel like you want someone who will be, like, account your, like, accountability partner. I don't really know other than that. Like, for sure. Like you said, it doesn't have to be like, oh, cute Instagram fit couple, you know, everybody Not showing their like abs. The ones. Yeah, but like, I'm totally up for cool tricks. Like if we're gonna do back tucks together, oh yes. You're right, I should have seen like, that. You're I right. want somebody who can like do cool thing, cool dances, parkour moves. Hardcore parkour. <laughs> I feel like you need somebody who also like will work out with you because like you're pretty into fitness Even a gymnast and like I said before like somebody who is as interested in crime as you Not that you're like into money because I know that like with your profession you're going into like you're gonna make a lot of money I feel like you're very practical So somebody who's like practical with money or like who wants to like have a good job a doctor or like a detective You know some Somebody who's good with finances, maybe honestly a business owner too, because I can totally see you two like starting a business together. Honestly, if they were like a gymnast or something, I would love to have like a gymnastics workout buddy. Like, and it's fun practicing with the people you're coaching with. Like, honestly, when we like work out at like the gym, the gym, and not like the gymnastics gym, I don't really like want him to work out with me because I feel like he would either be holding back for me or I would be doing different things for him. True. It wouldn't really be like working on. So like, if we were just work talking like gym workouts. I, I would kind of want him to do his own thing and I can do my own thing. Gymnastics, I feel like, would be fun. Or like if you guys were like doing some other sport together. Oh, finances. Yeah, not to be like a gold digger, but... <laughs> it's not that you're all about like money or anything. You already will be making enough money for yourself, so it's not that you need money, but you just like attract, I guess, like hard working. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if he was at a spot where he wasn't making good money, but he would. Not even like good money, just he's doing something. He's doing something he's passionate like, about. Like productive and yeah. he's passionate about. I love cops. Yeah. <laughs> cops are productive mm -hmm. and they, they don't make that great of money, <laughs> but they're doing something that they have to be enthusiastic about because if you're not enthusiastic about it, like why would you become a cop? <laughs> I want a cop, but with a little bit of a rebellious streak. So like a bad boy cop, but not like not corrupt like a cop. Corrupt cop. Yes, a sassy cop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Reagan. I'm gonna be looking back at this in ten years, crying. <laughs> We did, we did good. Update, it is one o'clock in the morning and we're about to do some Bob Ross paintings. Ah uh ha -huh, uh ha, ah ha ha. We're gonna look sort of green to you right in here. And the reason for that is- He already did that, he didn't show black us. Canvas. Oh crap, I just ruined it. I, I bombed this. Pachoo choo choo choo. What? Bob Ross is on some drugs, I don't know. My fan brush is no longer a fan. Can I see his technique? He just said you just loaded it up with paint and you Okay, now just Update, Reagan spilled her cup of paint water all over. We don't have the proper brushes. The proper brush cleaner. This is what I have so far. Okay, that actually kind of looks really cool. <laughs> My arm is a canvas. My body is my canvas. You know what, Reagan? We did not come this far, all the way to Branson, Missouri, to do Bob Ross paintings and fail. 
<laughs> Yours kind of reminds me of the mind flare. <laughs> Update. This is actually going kind of well. That's Reagan's. It looks good. Isn't that like literally the prettiest <laughs> thing you've ever seen? I love it so much. Hers actually looks like Bob's. <laughs> this is my finished Bob Ross painting. We have Reagan's finished Bob Ross prototype. I think we both did a magnificent job. I found a really cool photography moment. I saw a shot, so I want to take it. So that like, it's not. <laughs> Here's Reagan, the professional, putting on her <laughs> lipstick. Are you okay, Reagan? Stop it! <laughs> no! Reagan. <laughs> this is what happens when you wear heels, people, on a hiking trail. I thought we were taking cute pictures. <laughs> <laughs>